microphone. I hope this works a lot better. I'll let you see the opening for the sake of the anniversary. Since this is the best, uh... Yay! Alright. Should be working. I hope to God we get Ape Escape 4 news. Fucking Sony hasn't said anything about the Ape Escape anniversary. And it's making me mad. And like, how can you not look at this? How can you look at this and not want more Ape Escape? Or want to play Ape Escape? I hope anyone watching this will, uh, decide to play it. I really hope. If they haven't played it already. Or maybe they'll play it again. Be nice. So... Let's see, I think the audio was too loud last time. We'll turn the sound effects down a little bit. And that biome down by like one, just in case. We will turn subtitles on for the uh hearing impaired like me. <laughs> Alright. I'm trying to remember exactly where we were last time. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's right. I failed at Pink Monkey, I think. I can't remember. Alright. Well, let's do that better this time. Oh, okay. Um... Probably get some, uh, or try to get some cookies. Advanced RC car. I played some, uh, of the Code Vein uh, network test today, and I liked it a lot. I kind of got annoyed by the tutorial. I. I don't like being forced to play tutorials, obviously, if you've watched any of these <laughs> videos. I'm not a fan. I, I kind of like to have the option, you know, to play them, but choose not to because they suck. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. That annoyed me, but otherwise I really liked it. Oh, and I don't like that the NPCs uh, are so chatty when you're, you know, teaming up with them. But, yeah, other than that, it's great. I like a lot of the features they have in it. They did a lot of cool shit with the, uh... Um... They have, like, an advanced job system. You know, like in Final Fantasy V in Code Vein, you know? Um... And it's really cool. Um... There are a lot of new things they added to the Souls formula that I really like. Well, my luck's supposed to be good. Drop me some coins, bitch. Alright. Well, we'll just fight Pink Monkey for now, then. Hope for the best. We'll watch the cutscene in case I didn't stream this. I can't remember. But in case people are, uh, not ready. She's also my favorite monkey. Okay, I see what I'm doing. I kind of forgot how to do this. <laughs> I love the weird ass uh, song too. Fuck, I'm bad at this. Alright. I believe this stream goes better than this uh, battle's going. I love her so much. 
I don't know what it's supposed to be doing here. Can I just stream up some over? I guess not. <laughs> like, this series deserves so much more attention. It's so cute. <laughs> and look at the little music video at the bottom. It's hilarious. All right. Ow, fuck. Fuck, I guess that hurt. Okay. <laughs> this is not going well. Um. Ah! Alright. I'm bad at platforming, so you'll have to forgive me for sucking. That really hurt, actually. Alright. hurt my pride a lot. <laughs> this game plays a lot better than it looks. <laughs> Cause like, my fucking platforming skills are garbage, by the way. Ow, bitch! Alright. Yeah, eat my butt, fam. Alright. Oh, I actually don't have to do that other one. That's good. How? How dare you do this to me? I've been looking forward to doing this debut for so long! What gives you the right to ruin a monkey's dream? Um... Do you have something against pop stars? Is that it? <laughs> yes. Yes, it must be that. You're just jealous that Pink is becoming famous and you aren't! <laughs> There's no turning back now. This is my final test to become a star. Okay. Ow, bitch, that hurt. Okay, that was fast. Okay. Okay, so I have to actually be careful of that fucking bullshit. Starting to make a little bit more sense. I probably timed that too late. No, I got her. All right. But you can probably see why she's my favorite so far. Well, she's my favorite, period, but you can probably see why she's my favorite as you're watching. Um... Out of the Frankie Monkey 5, I mean. Oh, I got her! Okay, that was fast. Yeah! I feel bad though, because she's adorable. Good job! But Papachi wasn't there. I'm worried. Uh, I guess I'll save. <laughs> I 
I really do hope Sony says something about it soon. Like, Ape Escape, the 20th anniversary. But it makes me sad that they just don't give a shit about this series. It's a really good series. Maybe when I'm finished, by the time I'm finished, we'll get something. Oh, I love this level. It's so cute. Alright. I've had a rough day lately. Um, I mean, a rough week. Um, I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Alright. The camera can be a bit disorienting, so if they do remaster it, I hope they... Uh, So if they do remaster it, I hope they fix some of the technical issues. Like, that would be real nice. The boxing monkeys are actually, uh... If I remember correctly, they actually do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, they do. Alright. Ow, you monkeys. Alright. Okay. I like that a lot of them have such kind of common names. <laughs> um, kind of adds to the humor of the series. Ow. Okay. I'll get better at this eventually. Alright, um... Kinda, my monkey catching skills are a little, uh... Off today. Alright. Um... The hula hoop might actually be better here. Actually, it might not be because I might run off the edge. <laughs> Got these monkeys, dude. All right. Okay. Yeah, like, I, I hope if Ape, uh, Ape Escape does come back, they fix some of, like, the little technical issues. I feel like the PS2 era had a, a few more than the PS1 did. Oh, I remember this shit. Alright. There are a lot of traps in this area, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I have the slingshot yet. Oh yeah, I do. I got that last time. So, um... Let me equip that real quick. Probably to... Alright. Yeah, alright. See, that camera can be a bit janky. Wow, dude. Okay. I apologize. I'm pretty shitty at this game, actually. Alright. Ow! Alright. I 
I think the fact that I'm shitty at it and I like it, that says a lot of good about it. My, the main point of uh, shittiness for me, um, my shittiness at it, comes from my just lack of skill at platformers. I'm really bad at platformers. There's platformers I like, but I'm pretty terrible at them. Um, oh my god, dude. I might actually just die from this area. Um, that'd be a, embarrassing. Um... Oh my god! It's annoying how bad, like, how easy it is to miss that, too. Like, I fall right off the edge. Alright, so we're gonna have to do that level over again. It's actually really aggravating. Okay. You know what? I just realized I'm supposed to use the fucking glider thing, aren't I? <laughs> I'm an idiot. My bad. That would make that infinitely easier. I'm a st I'm stupid. All right. So we're gonna do that. God, that was dumb of me. <sighs> okay, let's try this shit again and not suck at it, hopefully. Alright. Fucking monkeys, man. I hate these boxing ones. Oh my god, dude. Alright. One thing I'd also like them to add is a fucking targeting system. Um. Maybe they added that in the fucking uh, Japanese-only ones that we never got because America hates us. All right, um... Alright, let's try this again. We are actually gonna go up there and grab that cookie. It's right there, that'll help a little bit. Grab him. Alright. <laughs> Chaz, I love that name. Kevin L. Donaghy from, um, he's an Eraserhead author, and he, uh, he wrote Space Walrus and a couple other things, and he, uh, at BizarroCon, part of his, like, Ultimate Bizarro Showdown thing, um, you know, you have to have do a weird performance and impress the judges. <laughs> he, like, wore, like, a super over-the-top, like, scarf. Um, and like just a really like Fabio looking outfit and he kept calling himself Chaz <laughs> you know and uh, I can't remember everything he said but it was just ridiculous it got like really over the top um, and they, <laughs> they, like, they, <laughs> they like chased him off stage oh Peepachi all right that's good. Gucci, where have you been? Everyone was so worried. Oh, oh. oh Professor.
Professor, I found Hibachi and he's fine. Good work. Yeah, I'm going to take him with me on the adventure. Very well. Just be careful out there. Let's go, Pipochi! Oh. Cool, let's, uh... It's funny that Papachi was just sitting right there. It was very convenient. Alright. I'll go back to that other area soon. First, I want to grab these. I can actually hula hoop these guys. Let me do that. Um, boop. All right. All right. I wonder if there's any in these pods. There might be. Whatever, there's money in them, that's probably enough. Alright. <laughs> and ammo, nice. Oh wow. Alright. Miyazaki. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think, um, one of the things that, uh, a lot of people don't realize about Ape Escape is that while it looks simple, uh, when the first one came out of the PlayStation, it, um, bas basically created the, uh, like, the second analog stick, the one to control the camera. It was, I, I don't know if it created it, but it was the first game it was necessary in. So it's, like, it's kind of a, it's a strangely, like, significant game in Sony's library. But, like, it doesn't get enough credit, you know? It's also just a really fun game, and it makes me sad that, uh, that, uh, you know, Sony doesn't seem to like it that much. I actually don't know where, like, the candle owls and shit come from. I assume Spectre creates them? I don't know. I don't know where a lot of the weird monsters come from. Maybe they explained it in Ape Escape 1 and I just don't remember. Okay. So we're back out here. Let's make sure we got the other monkeys. Ooh. Okay. Ow! Okay, that hurt. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about the camera. Is it's very off. Like, it can be hard to see things when the camera gets finicky. All right. So I guess we gotta go up to the 
shitty area again. Alright. Oh, well, we can go here first, I guess. Alright. Actually, no. Um, we have to go behind that thing. Alright. So yeah, Bizarro Con was really fun. There was some controversy there. Um... Which was frustrating and a little triggering. But, uh, otherwise, it was a really good experience. Um, I had a lot of fun. Everyone was real nice. Um, I got to read one of my stories. Or part of one of my stories. I got to uh, hang out with some good friends. I got to drink, have a good time, talk about uh, making a gay island, a paradise for the gays, kind of like Outer Haven and Metal Gear, but with gay people and trans people and all that, which was fun. Alright, just a lot of weird jokes, a lot of weird people, I like the best kind of weird. Alright. Yeah, see? <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. I'm so stupid. Alright. <laughs> I got <laughs> lulled into thinking because I could jump on them that I was supposed to. Um... I guess I'll follow them. Man, these monkeys are assholes. Alright. I was watching a video on, um, I can't remember exactly what it was, uh, called. But it was, like, comparing the differences, um, between the American Psycho book which I have read, uh, and the movie, which I have also seen, um, and they were trying to do it in a way that wouldn't, like, get their channel demonetized, and it's made it more uncomfortable, somehow. Um, it was weird. Like, that book is so graphic. I don't know. I might be in the minority who prefers the movie to the book. Because while the movie does l lose a lot of, you know, what the... A lot of, you know, like, the book's, like, uh, message and, like, what it's trying to convey. Um, it... I feel like the movie's more fun to re-watch, I mean, like, I think, like, the book drags on because they focus so much on, um, Patrick's obsession, or obsessions, and it becomes too detailed about too many things, you know what I mean, and it just slows the book down, so for me, personally, it's less fun to read than the movie is to watch. Yeah, I know, it's weird to talk about American Psycho on a Ape Escape stream. Probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> In case kids Google American Psycho. <laughs> Please don't read that, kids. You're not ready for it. I, I normally am like, kids should, you know... I am I normally think kids should, you know, uh, be able to read more things, but... Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm usually like, you know, if a kid's interested in something, maybe the parents should ask them why. But, um, you know, 
like, because for me as a kid I was interested in a lot of dark stuff, and there was a reason for it instead of it's dark and edgy and you're not supposed to do it. But like with American Psycho, I don't think that's, I don't know, for me that's where I draw the line, because there's not really anything a kid needs or should, should relate to in any way. You know what I mean? Like when you, like, watch, uh, when you watch, like, um, or when you, like, listen to, like, music and it's, like, dark and it has, you know, uh, themes of, like, violence or abuse or whatever, I feel like for some kids like me that helped, you know, cope with their own abuse, but, like, I don't know, there's just some things that just aren't that just should never be read by kids, no matter, even if their parent approves it. And that's one of them, so please don't look it up, kids. It'll traumatize you. I'm saying that as your friend. <laughs> it traumatized me, and I was like an adult when I read it. Alright. And do remember that we're going to be going back to each of those levels and getting all the monkeys. Um... Also, I'll have to re-edit this video, um, when it's uploaded. Um, because... YouTube cuts out a lot of stuff. I don't know why they do it, but they do it every time. And it's super annoying. So if... Um... I don't know if it's cut in half, which is probably already... This part's probably already missing from the uh, upload, but... Hopefully it's not, and hopefully y'all can tell. Alright, so we're on a citadel. I'm actually don't remember how many state I don't remember how many stages there are in this game. I remember what the last stage is. I won't spoil it in case someone's new. But um it's pretty much just as ridiculous as you would expect. I imagine. All right. This fucking Asshole, man. Alright, we got him. I love the music in this series, too. It's so funny. Alright. I think there was actually a, uh... We'll see if I'm right, but I think there was a little, uh... Let me look real quick. Yeah, there it is. I'm actually going to kill this thing first, because it's probably going to get in the way. Alright. It's fucking dick. Alright. Now let's try, uh... to get this monkey.
Actually, I probably have to bring it to a certain point. I probably have to get up on that and then throw it. But how I do that... Oh, I think I know, actually. <laughs> I keep forgetting about this thing. All right. How do I keep forgetting about the fucking Skyflyer thing? All right. All right. I might not have a lot of time uh, to put into the stream today. I regret that because you know it's the um, it's the anniversary and all that. But I have a lot to do, and I have to you know go out of the city for a little bit. Um, and also, I need to, you know, work on this novella I'm working on for a, a publisher. I kind of probably can't talk a lot about it right now. I'm not sure if I can talk much about it. But, um... I'm working on that. So I gotta do that before the day is over, before I head out and have to do a bunch of shit out of town. So I might finish this level and maybe another one. Or maybe just finish this level. It depends on where I'm at and how long this takes. If there's a boss at the end of this one, we'll try to get that done. I can't remember if there is or not. I do hate how the camera, like, fucks around a lot. It's actually really annoying. I think you're supposed to get in front of him, because his... We'll see how it goes. I might actually just be able to sneak up on him. No, that didn't go well. Alright, so we got fucking Norman Bates there. Well, rocket, uh, scientist. Or, I don't even know, not rocket scientist. Fucking missile scientist Norman Bates. <laughs> Is that a thing? I, I assume it's a thing. I assume... Well, I mean, it's gotta be. People develop missiles. <laughs> it's gotta be somebody who specializes in that shit. I just don't know what they're called. Alright. Oh no! The internet connection quality is shit, apparently. Is it not broadcasting? Let me look real quick. It's done this before, and it's really annoying. Hopefully... Hopefully... Okay, so it is broadcasting, it's just bullshitting me. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, you gotta hit that button on the back, I guess. Right? Or is it like... I think you have to wait, actually, don't you? You have to wait for it to, like, charge, and then you can hit it. <laughs> Alright. Ow! I'm bad. Alright. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, this Tang's taking quite a few hits. Alright. Whatever. Um... Okay. Yeah, I'm really hoping we get an Ape Escape announcement today, but you... You never know. With Sony. They kind of hate the series. Um... Come on, fam. I'm doing por pretty poorly against this guy, actually. Close some distance. Hit him. Thank you. Alright. Alright, got that guy. I'd even, you know, settle for a remaster at first, if they're not ready to give us Safe Escape 4. You know what I mean? Hopefully that would build a little hype up for it. And it would make sense, since the series has been absent for a while, to get a remaster first. Those guys actually do not stun. I don't know why they are not... Okay. Oh, okay, that restored all my cookies. Nice. Um... Six left to get. Well, six obligatory ones left to get. Obviously, I'm gonna catch her, catch her all of them eventually. Once the, uh, once I've done the stages. Okay. I wish they put Ape Escape 3 on the, uh, PlayStation Store if they're not gonna remaster it. You know what I mean? Like, I would really like to be able to play that on my PS4. I own all of the, you know, the games, the original copies, but I don't know. It, I'd buy it again if they released it, even if it's just to stream it. I need to get a capture card for my old systems. Okay. What is this? Okay. I think... I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I can't remember. I'm gonna look at the camera real quick. Maybe you have to drop down or something. I'm not sure. Okay, this looks about right. Man, these guys are annoying. Alright. I need to play Klonoa later. I've never played this series, but it looks really cute. I don't know if they ever did a remaster for that or not. I guess there's not a way into the tank, is there? Alright. Okay. There's a couple series, a retro series that I want to play. Um... Oh, yeah. Alright. We'll go down and grab him real quick. But I just really like the art styles of some of these, like, really cute animated games. You know? I I feel like a lot most things are too like hyper realistic now 
and they don't really have room for cutesy shit on the PlayStation as much anymore, and that makes me sad. Um, I probably didn't need that cookie, actually, now that I think of it. I like games with, you know, hyper-realistic graphics, too. I just, I would like, uh, I would like, you know, a uh, PlayStation to take its, like, cuter titles a little seriously, more seriously. Like, Nintendo, you know, has super pretty titles, and then they have just really cute ones. All right. How do I get up again? Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have stolen that yet. All right. That was a waste of a cookie. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Okay, got him. All right. Like, I love games like God of War and stuff, you know, but... I don't ha That's not all we have to play, Sony. Ow. Okay, that was not good. Uh, that's why I like the indie scene a lot, is we're getting a lot more uh, diversity in games through indie, uh, indie publishing. Indie, uh, indie game publishing or indie developers or whatever you want to call it. No Alrighty. Yeah. I'm sure I'll figure out how to get into that uh, aquarium tank later. Alright. Aquarium tank is kind of redundant, isn't it? Alright. Oh my god. I have a friend, I think I've told you this story before, um, on a previous video, who hates just absolutely hates the bananas in Mario Kart. Like, they just make him so angry. Like, like actually, like, angry. <laughs> it's hilarious. He goes on rants about it. He gets very salty about it. When anyone, uh, just, like, st uh, fucks his, uh, cart with the, <laughs> with the bananas. Um... Alright, so one monkey left. Alrighty. My thing is, I don't know how anyone can, like... Like, even... I, I don't have a lot of time, you know? And it's hard, it's so hard for me not to, um, catch all of the monkeys in these games. You know? Like, I don't... I think a lot of people, like, take, uh, gamers' time for granted, you know? Like, they have nothing better to do. But not nah, like, I... I don't know. It's a lot. Like, I know I hate when other games are like, Well, you haven't done that yet? You haven't 100%ed this game? I'm like, I don't have time. But, no, like, uh... It's just, I have a very difficult time not, like, doing everything in this game. I... It's hard for me to force myself to, uh... To, like, set a limit. Um. Yeah. All done. 
<laughs> Dave. I love that his name was just Dave. Alright. We'll probably, uh... I love her. She's my favorite. I think I've said that before. I also really like, uh... I like Yellow Monkey. Oh, cool. I like yellow monkey and blue monkey a lot. Would not expect the professor to look like that. Kind of glad they uh, went th with the non-ginger design, the old guy instead. All right. Um. Yeah, we're just not going to worry about that. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably not use the machine after that. Alright. Oh, wait. I should probably call it, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'd love to do this level, but I should probably save this for later. Okay. <laughs> well, I will, uh, catch you next time. Alright. Bye-bye. Hopefully you join me for the next one, and hopefully we get an Ape Escape 4 announcement. Um...